a guardian at the gate. Introducing Cloudflare. Imagine a website like a castle. It holds valuable information and needs protection. That's where Cloudflare comes in. Cloudflare is like a strong, watchful guardian standing in front of websites. Cloudflare is a company that helps keep websites safe and running smoothly. It acts as a shield, protecting websites from attacks and making sure they load quickly for visitors. Think of it as a bodyguard for websites, ensuring a smooth and secure experience for everyone. Just like a real guardian, Cloudflare has rules to keep things safe. If it detects something suspicious, it might block access to the website. This helps prevent bad things from happening, like data theft or website crashes. Cloudflare says no. What does it mean? Sometimes, when you try to visit a website protected by Cloudflare, you might see an error message. It might say something like, access denied or you are being rate limited. This means Cloudflare has blocked your request to access the website. Don't worry, it doesn't necessarily mean you did anything wrong. Cloudflare is just being cautious. It might have detected something unusual about your request and it's simply erring on the side of caution to protect the website. These blocks are temporary and usually last for a short time. In most cases, you won't even notice them. However, if you repeatedly encounter these blocks, it's worth understanding why they might be happening. Red flags for Cloudflare. Understanding common triggers. Cloudflare uses sophisticated algorithms to identify and block potentially harmful traffic. Here are some common actions that can trigger Cloudflare's security measures. Rapid fire requests. Imagine someone knocking on your door repeatedly and very quickly. It would seem suspicious, right? Similarly, if Cloudflare detects an unusually high number of requests coming from your device or network in a short period, it might flag it as suspicious activity, like a bot trying to overload the website. Suspicious words or phrases. Certain words or phrases, especially those commonly used in hacking attempts, can raise red flags. For example, trying to submit SQL commands through a website form could trigger a block, as it might be an attempt to manipulate the website's database. Fake user agents. When you visit a website, your browser sends information about itself, called a user agent. This tells the website what type of device and browser you're using. Sometimes, malicious actors disguise their user agents to hide their true identity. Cloudflare can detect these fake user agents and block them. These are just a few examples of what can trigger Cloudflare's security measures. It's important to remember that these measures are in place to protect both website owners and users from harm. Oops, I'm blocked. What to do when Cloudflare stops you? Encountering a Cloudflare block can be frustrating, but there are simple steps you can take to resolve the issue. Wait a few minutes. Most Cloudflare blocks are temporary and automatically lifted after a short period. Try accessing the website again after a few minutes. Refresh the page. Sometimes a simple page refresh can do the trick. Try pressing Ctrl plus F5, Windows, or CMD plus I, Shift plus R, Mac, to force a hard refresh and clear your browser's cache. Check your internet connection. A spotty internet connection can sometimes cause issues. Make sure you have a stable connection before trying to access the website again. If these simple steps don't work, don't worry there are still ways to reach the website you're trying to access. Section 5. Talking to the gatekeeper. Contacting website owners. 
If you've tried the basic troubleshooting steps and are still unable to access the website, it's time to contact the website owner directly. They have the ability to whitelist your IP address or investigate the issue further. Most websites have a contact us page or provide an email address for inquiries. When contacting them, be polite and explain the situation clearly. Let them know you're encountering a Cloudflare block and provide them with the following information. The website you're trying to access, the date and time you encountered the block, your IP address, you can find this by searching what is my IP on Google, and the Cloudflare Ray ID. More on this in the next section. Providing this information will help the website owner quickly identify and resolve the issue. Section 6. Sharing is caring. The importance of the Cloudflare Ray ID. Remember that error message you saw earlier? It likely contained a unique identifier called a Ray ID. This alphanumeric code is like a fingerprint for your specific request to the website. When you contact the website owner, sharing the Ray ID is crucial. It allows them to look up the specific instance of your blocked request in Cloudflare's logs. This helps them understand why you were blocked and take appropriate action to resolve it. Think of it like providing a reference number when you call customer service. It helps them quickly locate your information and provide faster assistance. Section 7. Unlocking the gate. Steps to regain access. Once you've contacted the website owner and provided them with the necessary information, they can take steps to help you regain access. Here are a few things they might do. Whitelist your IP address. The website owner can add your IP address to a whitelist in Cloudflare. This tells Cloudflare that your traffic is safe and should be allowed through. Adjust security settings. If they determine that a specific Cloudflare security rule is causing the block, they can adjust the settings to be less restrictive while still maintaining adequate protection. Investigate further. If the website owner is unsure why you're being blocked, they can investigate further on their end or contact Cloudflare support for assistance. Remember, website owners want you to be able to access their content. By contacting them and providing the necessary information, you're helping them resolve the issue and ensure a smooth browsing experience for everyone. Section 8. Cloudflare's Balancing Act – Security versus Accessibility Cloudflare's primary goal is to protect websites and their visitors. However, sometimes their security measures can inadvertently block legitimate users. It's a constant balancing act between maintaining a high level of security and ensuring accessibility for all. Cloudflare is continuously improving its algorithms and working to reduce false positives. By collecting data and analyzing traffic patterns, they can fine-tune their systems to be more accurate in identifying and blocking only genuinely harmful traffic. It's important to remember that no security system is perfect. There will always be instances where legitimate users are mistakenly blocked. However, by working together, website owners, Cloudflare and users, we can minimize these occurrences and create a safer and more accessible internet for everyone. Section 9. Staying safe online. Cloudflare's role in a secure internet. Cloudflare plays a vital role in protecting us from online threats. By acting as a shield for websites, it helps prevent data breaches, website outages, and other malicious activities. While encountering a Cloudflare block can be frustrating, it's important to remember that these measures are in place for our safety. By understanding how Cloudflare works, 
and taking the appropriate steps to resolve any issues, we can all contribute to a safer and more secure online experience. Remember, if you encounter a Cloudflare block, don't panic. Follow the steps outlined in this essay and you'll be back to browsing your favourite websites 